Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. If you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash uh, the subscribe button. It helps other people know when I'm posting videos. Well, welcome to another recipe in Ron's Keto Cafe. Now, let me get my uh, recipe uh, note. So this recipe comes to you from Low Carb Recipes with Jennifer, and I have the link below to show more. Today, we're going to be making some uh, zucchini bread. Now we made this once before following this, these uh, instructions from her. And I, I finally got my printer going by the way, so I can print out my uh, recipes. And what I'm gonna start doing is I got a notebook. I'm gonna put all these in a book and put a little picture on it and uh, when, I, when I'm happy with what I did for the uh, my recipe. So this particular recipe, you're gonna need zucchini obviously, but we'll go over the ingredients as the way I wrote them down. You're gonna need two cups of almond flour, a half of a teaspoon of kosher salt, and we're gonna use the pink salt, a half of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half of a cup of granulated sweetener, and we're gonna use the Lanco uh, sweetener, and then we're gonna use one teaspoon of baking powder, two large eggs beaten, and a fourth of a cup of melted butter, and then one and a, and a half cups of grated zucchini, and then we'll process it, process it in the food uh, processor, and then when it's all grated, We'll take it out and we're going to take some cheesecloth and we're going to put it in some cheesecloth or a towel if you happen to have a kitchen towel or or paper towels for that matter. Try to squeeze out as much water as you can and then let's, see, let's go over the instructions how to put it together. Okay, so we just talked about the towel. So we're going to add all these ingredients into a mixing bowl. We'll preheat the oven to 350 and then we'll put it in a low pan. We'll spray the low pan with a little bit of cooking spray and I'll put, probably put some parchment paper on the side. And then once that's done, we'll bake that in the oven for 60 minutes and we'll stick a toothpick in. And when the toothpick is, uh, uh, comes out clean, we'll, we'll, it's done and then we'll let it cool on the counter and then we'll pop it out of the low pan and we'll cut it up and sample it together. But I absolutely love zucchini bread and uh, the YouTuber's name is Jennifer Banz, B-A-N-Z. She's got a lot of great recipes out there so I highly recommend subscribing to her channel. And again, her direct, the directions in, in the uh, her, her link below the uh, show more will be in the show more but um yeah just go over there and say hi to jennifer uh, she does get back to you on questions if you got any questions when she's got time and i've been following her forever and uh i mean the, these youtubers do a fantastic job guys and you know and i'm getting a lot better filming too i, I for a long time i didn't even want to film any recipes because i it's kind of my own fault because i you know I, i'm a videographer and it's oh geez you, just film a video recipe like you do a video concert, you know? So so we're definitely getting better with filming and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have uh, my voice over the, uh, when I'm doing the recipe, I'll probably just have music. I've been going on to some different websites and I'm gonna start getting involved in another subscription. And also starting this Friday, I believe, at some point in the afternoon or possibly even early Saturday, I'm gonna be recreating a, a rest, another recipe, but a, uh, a uh, website it'll be uh, ronsketocafe.com so be watching for that and I'll be uh, designing it myself and putting it all together and I'll have a contact and recipes and all my walking adventures and my adventures I've done in the past and you know kind of like my YouTube channel but I'll have all my videos up on there and uh, all my recipes and uh, a lot of YouTube links and you know and I'm possibly getting to the idea and maybe getting some shirts and hats and some coffee cups and uh, that, that sort of thing. But, um, you know, hope you're getting excited about that. And don't forget, too, I got a Facebook support group, Ron's Keto Cafe Support, and you're welcome to, and you're encouraged to go over there and share your, your YouTube channel and uh, your before and after photographs and your recipes that you want to share. And, uh, yeah, so that's all I got to say. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, I love you. God love you. Have an amazing day. Hi guys, so we have our food processor out. We're getting ready to grate our zucchini and then we're gonna uh, get as much liquid out as we can using the uh, cheesecloth. So let's go ahead and uh, do our, we need a cup and a half of this by the way. So let's go ahead and this is gonna work, go pretty fast. <laughs>
see some of it didn't get grated and that's okay because it's going to throw that part out. You can even eat that as a snack. So when you're working with processing blades, be very, very careful. And that's what a zucchini looks like, already processed. So now let's take the uh, blade out. So I want to take this and just dump it right onto the cheesecloth. And I'll be cleaning up my mess as I go along. I've already cut a good sized piece of cheesecloth. I need a cup and a half, a cup and a half of this. Let's see. Okay, so we got some left in here, so we're gonna use the spatula to get all that out of there because we don't want to waste any of it. We have everything all weighed up and measured to go anyways. You're just gonna melt the butter in the microwave and the oven's already been preheated to 350. Okay, I think it's good. It's almost really good as I want out of there. I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to move my camera over there to the uh, sink and I'll show you how to drain that out. So I got mine wrapped up in a ball in a cheesecloth, and that could be a paper towel or it could be a uh, dish towel. So we're going to squeeze as much of this as we can out of it. So just yeah, that, that comes up to what we want for uh, our measure measurement, about a cup and a half. If it's over, it's no big deal. If you want to get precise and measure it out, knock yourself out. I made this plenty of times before in the past. That ruffling noise you hear in the background is my cat playing. Okay, so that's good enough. Okay guys, so this is going to move pretty fast now. We got our almond flour. We're just going to stir it up a little bit to get any uh, lumps out of here as best we can. This is the uh, Blue Diamond almond flour, by the way. Another one of my favorite brands. Then over here we have our cinnamon, salt, and baking powder in. Just give it a quick stir. Pop it right in. I'm going to mix that all up really good. Get it incorporated. We got a wet zucchini we're going in. Actually, it's dry now. We put it in that cheesecloth. Good cup and a half. Just take it and dump it right in. Okay. Out, we got a uh, one fourth of a cup of butter, and then we have our two eggs that are going in that we already got a beaten one, so that goes right into that. Okay, let's get all this stuff off the counter and get that cleaned up. Kind of incorporate it all. Very, very, this is a very, very easy recipe. It's really good. It's healthy for you. And I'm going to probably have to use the uh, spatula to get it really mixed up a little bit better like this than this. Okay, that's okay. So this recipe comes to you from uh, Jennifer Banz, B-A-N-Z, I believe. I have her link in the show more where I got this recipe from. She got long, it doesn't take that long to get it all together. It's just the prep work and then the clean up. And I think we're gonna clean them all up really good and they're gonna stick that in the dishwasher afterwards. So just keep working it like this. 
And it gets ready to put into the pan at a 350 degree oven. Forgot to put the granulate sugar in. Okay. Let's go ahead and mix that up. Really good, good. That's the Lanco uh, sugar, but you know, if you forget something, that, well, I don't know what to tell you, but I had everything all out and I just for, just forgot it, so I'm glad I saw it now, because otherwise I would have popped it all out of the pan and added it. So you just kind of like to incorporate it right into the uh, batter. And that's gonna really make a really awesome loaf of bread. This fits perfectly fine for keto. And, and we know, today we're, you know, we're in the summer months now, so you should be able to start getting in your fresh garden stuff if you grow garden uh, vegetables and fruit in your garden. Okay, so that, okay, there you go. Well, this is the pan that I'm using. What I did was I just cut a couple pieces of parchment paper and I sprayed it a little bit with cooking oil spray so that that would stick to the sides. And I've been seeing some YouTubers put paper, uh, clothespins to hold that in or paper clips if you uh, you know if you have big enough paper clips I suppose that gets just dumped right in make sure we get it all okay and you just you know form it till it forms a loaf like again this will get baked in the oven for an hour Put a toothpick into it, see how far it is along. If it needs more time, we'll add more time. But remember, all, all oven times are different. You just kind of like spread it out and make a bread out of it. I made this plenty of times before. I absolutely love uh, zucchini bread. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, I'm getting better at it. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I mean, uh, you know, I'm going to be putting this up on the website when I get the website going, as well as YouTube channel. Okay. Well, there you go. The zucchini bread. Let's get that going in the oven at 350 for one hour. Okay, so we just took the uh, zucchini bread out of the oven. We're gonna check it with the uh, fork. We're gonna check it with the knife. You see it is coming out clean, so it is done. So we're gonna let that cool, and then we'll pop it out. We're gonna let this cool, we're gonna pop it out, and we'll try a sample of it later, and the rest of it we'll put in the freezer for later on in the week, because we're doing an egg fast today. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share and like it subscribe to the channel it helps uh me you know and i and other members know when i'm posting uh, notifications so today we made a low carb uh keto zucchini bread and this particular recipe came to you from a great youtuber her name is uh jennifer bands i believe and i'll have the correct information below the timeline from low carb recipes with jennifer and i've been following her for quite a while now and the ingredients is I wrote everything all down in my own writing, in my own, uh, when she was going over the recipe. So according to her, we, we put, and when I actually did, and remember I followed it exactly, I took two cups of almond flour, I sifted it, because I had, somebody had asked me a question about the almond flour from uh, on Keto Rewind. You can do both, Don't, it, I, I've done it both ways, it doesn't really matter. But I used the uh, uh, Blue Diamond brand, and uh, so we took two cups of almond flour, a, a uh, half of a teaspoon of uh, Redmond's Real Salt, and uh, according to her, she said kosher salt, but I used Redmond's Real Salt. And then I used uh, half of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half of a cup of granulate uh, sweetener, and I used the uh, Lanco brand which is the perfectly fine for low carb keto. And then we used uh, one teaspoon of baking soda and then uh, two large eggs beaten. And I think I goofed up there on the baking soda. I, I, I used baking powder by mistake. It should still be okay. 
So what we did was we took the uh, zucchini, we cleaned it, we cut the tops off of each end and then we put it in the food processor. And then when I took it out of the food processor, I had some cheesecloth and I opened up the cheesecloth and I dumped it all into the cheesecloth and I squeezed out as much water as I can in the sink. And then when I got all my ingredients pre-weighed, I had everything all in a mixing bowl. I put my zucchini in and I started mixing it up with the uh, whisk. And then I switched over to the spatula Got it incorporated really well. The dummy meat, just as I was putting the uh, greens into the loafing pan, I forgot to put the sugar in. So then I had the sugar already pre-weighed. I grabbed to put that in. I mixed that up. I got that in there. And then I put it into the bowl. And then I, and then I got it mixed. And then I took a, a low pan and I sprayed it. Took a couple of pieces of wedges of uh, parchment paper so, I could, so it'll come out of the low pan really easy. And I uh, baked that in the oven for almost an hour and I put a knife in the middle of it and that, it came out clean, it was done. And uh, it's been cooling all day and put it on foil over the pan so it cool. And now I'm ready to have a piece. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a, uh, take a little bit of cream cheese and put it on top of the uh, slice of bread that I made. But this is the uh, loaf, how it came out. And, uh, it's nice you can see that it's nice and golden brown on the top it didn't burn so what we're going to do is i'm going to run the knife around it and i'm going to take it out put it on a cutting board we're going to slice a couple slices together we're going to have it uh sampled together and i'll give you my taste test i've had this before i made it pretty much the way she made it and actually exactly the way she made it but anyways let's see i already got my uh photograph on my thumbnail but i might use that one who knows but anyways, I'm going to, from this point on, I'm going to, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the camera on the side angle on because I'm filming on the back room, and I'm going to uh, pop that uh, zucchini out and put it on the cutting board, and then uh, we'll have a piece together, and then we'll give it my taste test on in front of the camera. But I'd like to thank Jennifer for that recipe. Don't forget to uh, check her link out in the show more. Go over and subscribe to her channel, and. Uh, yeah, so I've, and I follow along with a lot of her channel uh, recipes that she puts up. She puts up a lot of great recipes. But anyways, thank you for this uh, recipe, Jennifer. So without further ado, let's flip the camera right around and uh, talk about it again. Okay, so I'm going to run the knife around the uh, edge of the pans. And hopefully it'll come out without disintegrating. Should be okay. So this is what the uh, back side of it looks like. So let's flip it back the other way. Now somebody was asking me a question. She said, uh, do you know what the macros are? Well, offhand, I don't know what they are. But I suppose uh, the macros, depend on how probably uh, thick or thin you slice your slices. I usually slice my slices like this. So we'll see how many we get. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can go ten slices like that. This is the, uh, the te texture of the bread. Oh, this is really, really good, guys. So there you have our final product. I well, suppose now you want me to take a taste test with the uh, zucchini and, and the cream cheese, huh? 
a little bit starting to fall apart a little bit, but you know, it's holding the shape up really well. Probably depends on how big and thick you like cut your pieces too. You can eat it with a fork. But this is really good, guys. Now, um, what I'm going to do is go over and get a cup of coffee going and have an afternoon cup of coffee. Yeah. So my question of the day before, have you ever made this before? And uh, if, if you have, how did it come out? And uh, what recipe did you use? Uh, so I'm really enjoying my... Uh, My zucchini bread. I'm gonna go make myself a cup of coffee, have a late afternoon coffee, and uh, and, uh, just enjoy the uh, concert tonight. But yeah, what do you you guys think? But anyways, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, you guys are amazing. Love you guys.